All right, so let's take a quick look at Simple Type Company. This is just one of thousands of small boutique type foundries that exist. And Simple Type is created by Dan Cederholm. He also co founded Dribble.com, which is a very popular site for designers and, and uh, showcase their work. But Dan created this little boutique agency and he just loves to create fonts. And so this is something that most non-designers don't really know about. And I kind of wanted to just walk through how I think about choosing one, ways to find them that, uh, you know, find very affordable fonts. So for instance, if you go to simpletype.co and you can see that he's not, you know, he's not a big foundry. He's not doesn't have a ton of typefaces. He's designing these himself. So like a new one might take a few months. Uh, so you're only gonna see kind of a handful of these. So if we click on fonts, he's got eight fonts and he kind of gives you a little preview of what the font looks like. And this is just a quick kind of way to get a feel for how this might look on a website or your YouTube channel or somewhere else. And if you notice the prices of these, so from $14, so you can probably just buy one weight or one style for 14 bucks. Uh, let's dig in and actually see. So uh, it looks like this Parkly contains three weights, so it gives us a little bit of flexibility. Uh, he has a condensed weight, a regular weight, and a wide weight. So you can kind of see this one's a little bit more condensed. Um, so if you're limited with horizontal space, Sometimes having a condensed font allows you to get more into that space, more letters will fit. And then uh, a regular typeface used probably for the majority of the work that you would you know, decide to use this font with. And then the wide, so this might be kind of like really cool for headers, uh, something that you are only using for a few words, you know, in like an H1 tag. Um, but, so there's three here now, for us to buy this, it's it looks like it looks like this might come with all of them. So these are all three for twenty bucks, uh, desktop and web. So what happens here is that Dan gives you the files that you can upload to your website. So that's what's really cool about this is you can use it on your desktop. So you can see it in the drop downs of you know Microsoft Word, uh, you know, or any other program that you have on your computer, and then. You get also uh, use it on your website. So for a designer, for someone like me, why this is important is I'm designing a site in Figma and I wanna be able to preview and use the font on my computer. And then when I go to implement the website, I wanna be able to make sure I can upload the files to the website and so everything is you know in sync. And so that's pretty cool. Uh, this price might change if you, yeah, if you only needed the web version or if you only need the desktop version, it's $14. So just to kind of have an idea of like, this is a really affordable font. There's not a lot of weights, there's only three, but this gives you something that most people have never used before. You know, you'd be in the top 001% of people who would actually like choose this font, use it on a website. And these are the, some of the things that help us stand out as entrepreneurs, creators, and everybody else in between. I'm gonna take a quick look at another one here. So one with a few more weights that might give us a form a few more options. So Captain Edward, four weights from $14. So again, we can kind of type, you know, what this might look like. Sometimes I like to use my name so I get to see what my name looks like. I might increase the font size just to kind of get an idea of what are kind of the unique characteristics of the letters themselves. Um, desktop and web for 20 bucks. Looks like you get all four for, for $20. And these are the different weights that you can choose from. So he may have a little preview of that up here. So yeah, you can click through the bold version, the rough version, and then the bold rough version. And you would get all of these for 20 bucks. And so thinking about having a typeface that you can use over and over, and you could use it on your website, use it for your YouTube channel artwork, for your newsletter, for your logo, just spending 20 bucks can get you something that will stand out from everybody else. So this is kind of why I think type is the, the most important asset that you can have. And while it's great to go to Google Fonts and select something from there, 
get something for free, that's a great starting point. But if you ever want to kind of take it a little bit more seriously and create a brand that stands out, this is one of the best ways to do it. And yeah, Dan Cedar Holmes website, he's got some, you know, just a few really interesting looking fonts. And uh, yeah, I would go check it out and, you know, maybe buy one or two. So hope this was helpful and I'll see you later.